MG Rob back with you, and today we're looking at part five of Project Ginsu before YouTube. So where we last left off, I was looking at engine placement and trying to get it far enough back in the car. And I had test fitted the new center section of the firewall and it still wasn't giving me quite enough room. So I reshaped this area of the firewall here on both sides to give me more room and bring that further back and test fitted it one more time. Now at this point, I'd already had the engine in and out many times and I will st would still have it in and out many more times, but I was much more happy with the amount of room I was creating here and where the engine was getting back to. So I ended up where the engine itself, the back of the engine is two inches further back now than the original B-Series engine that I took out. Now the whole engine is actually just a little bit longer than the B-Series, which puts the very front of the engine still something like an inch further ahead of the original engine. While I would like to have actually gone slightly further back than that, I wasn't going to be able to and still retain the heater. So along with sliding the engine back two inches, I also took the whole tr transmission tunnel and slid it back two inches in the car as well. Which of course then created a gap up here that I'd have to fill in at a later date. So then I reshaped this whole area here and extended it to fit all this together. And at this point, I decided to start making this center section here. Now the original piece wouldn't work because this is about three inches or so wider than it originally was. Plus it needed to be a little higher in the middle to clear the bell housing. And then I, I put a notch in it right here to make sure that this top bolt wouldn't rub and the top here was narrower, bringing the, this front back as far as I could to still be able to get the heater in and get the screws in to hold it. Now this center part was made up of a number of different pieces shaped in welded together. So then I finished welding that all together and then I will show here a picture of the original center section of the firewall next to the new center section with that piece installed. It was at this point I decided it was time to start tackling these top corners of the firewall, try to get the firewall all the way across connected. Now, since I widened the car two and a half inches, now from this point over to here, this whole thing was an inch and a quarter too narrow to fit. Now, one thing I needed to consider here was I would still want to run wipers and the mounting holes for the motor are right here. So if I move this out, all those mounting holes have to move over the same amount that I move that out. So I wasn't moving the whole thing just over the whole inch and a quarter. 
I put some of it, some here in the middle, and then added some to this end here. So the amount that I had to move these holes over was the amount that I added here. And then I cut this and moved that out some more. And then it was time to remove the old section that was in there. and test fit the new section that I just modified. So it was at this point that I started looking at the corner of the firewall here and was wondering, since I'm bringing the whole suspension out and putting wider wheels with bigger tires on it, would this be a problem and would, I, would it hit as I'm turning the wheel? So I grab a wheel and tire that I had sitting here from a, was it 98 or 99 Trans Am that I bought that was wrecked at one time because it was the closest thing I had laying around to what size I thought I would end up actually putting on here and use it as a test fit set it at the width, approximately the right width, with the fender in place and took the fender off to see the clearance and then try to envision the wheel turning. Alright, so that's probably a pretty good stopping point for today. So, as always, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, you know, spread the word. So, this is MG Rob. Later.